Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm your host, Jay, and welcome to a special Black History Month episode of Priming and Wine. How many of you have been going at life so fast that you have fallen behind on the latest movies or shows to watch? I know I have. Well, I'm not here to judge you, my friends. I'm here to help. Prime and Wine is the show where I go through the billions of Prime Video streaming options and track down the most epic, unique, and binge-worthy series and movies. You have refined taste and content, and I have a lot of time in my hands, so let me do the work for you. It's officially Black History Month, and Prime Video's library is full of rich and vibrant stories that I know you all will enjoy. Today, I want to take a moment to celebrate Black creatives who make incredible movies and series come to life from both in front of the camera and behind the scenes. The stories I'm highlighting today range from documentary to comedy and even fantasy. So without further ado, here are my top three picks of movies or series that feature black creatives available to stream now on Prime Video. First up is an original series about a 19 year old kid who has a giant problem fitting in. Available to stream now on Prime Video, here's I'm a Virgo. I'm a Virgo centers around a 13 foot tall black teenager named Cootie, played by Jarrell Jerome. Cootie has been hidden from the world by his adoptive parents in an old Victorian style home in Oakland, California, up until the age of 19. It is then that he escapes from the safety of his home and to experience the beauty and contradictions of the real world. He forms friendships, finds love, navigates awkward situations, and encounters his idol, a real life superhero named The Hero. Boots Riley is the creative mind behind this series and is one of the groundbreaking and visionary black creatives of our generation. His movies and now his first TV series blend activism and social justice and leave his audience with something to think about after watching. With I'm a Virgo, Boots explores the trials and tribulations of the lead protagonist Cootie as a naive fish out of water in a new and wondrous world. He also touches on relevant social issues like wealth, inequality, and racism. Now, can you imagine being 13 feet tall? In our world, you would either be considered a freak of nature or something to behold. I'm a Virgo is filled with some amazing characters that I know you will love to meet, and the black creatives playing these characters nail their interpretations of them. First off, we have our main protagonist, Cootie, played by Jarrell Jerome, who grew up on a diet of comic books and TV shows. Along with his isolation, these stories sometimes warp his mindset and thoughts about how the real world works. Hey, you need money for what? What do you mean, like, like, we going back to the club and... Hey, look, man, check this out. We, we, we don't give money to people who don't follow our rules. Okay, I told you not to do it, and you did it anyway. Now, you ain't ready. Now, you gonna go out there and get yourself killed and put on display. Now, see, if you pull back, they'll forget. They won't forget. Look, it's done. I'm out there, okay? Brett Gray plays Felix, the hype man of Cootie's newly found friend group who claims the spot as Cootie's first real friend. It's my first time at a club. Hey, bro, if you don't just download shots and get on the dance floor and highlight some females, me and you gonna fight. You're messing with me. That's what friends do. <laughs> okay. I always wonder what having a friend was. Felix's outgoing personality makes him really likable, and he's genuinely happy to look out for Cootie's best interest. It wasn't right for you. I got something better lined up. He said he has something better for me. Like what? Tell him you ain't doing no Illuminati. Uh, um, my manager says no Illuminati. Another interesting character you would meet is Jones, played by Kara Young. Jones is the voice of reason and a neighborhood activist. I want the people to democratically control the wealth we create with our labor. Yeah, that will take force, but we need the people for that force. Okay. They gotta know where their power lies. So instead of just going straight for the goal, you can uh, electric slide your way over there. <laughs> Yo, the people do love the electric slide. Elias Barnes plays the free-spirited scat who loves hanging, playing video games, and watching anime, all of which fits into his personality. Olivia Washington plays the quirky Flora, a frontline counter worker at the popular burger stand, Bing Bang Burgers, a love interest to Cootie. These two quickly hit it off and become a perfect match for each other. 
Mike Epps and Carmen Ijogo plays Cootie's adoptive parents, Martine and La Francine, who both put their lives on hold to raise Cootie as their own. Martise doesn't mind reminding Cootie how big he is. You know, you're a big motherfucker. All the wear and tear that you're putting on this house, I mean, just leaning on the walls, you're putting holes in them. And I gotta fix this shit myself. Cause I don't want nobody to see your big ass. While La Francine approaches things with a more gentle approach. Thought you might like that. These are just some of the characters you would meet as you prime and unwind to this amazing show. I know you will love I'm a Virgo, now streaming on Prime Video. Next up is a look back over a man's career who needs no introduction. Available to stream now on Prime Video, here's Maxine's Baby, the Tyler Perry story. Maxine's Baby, the Tyler Perry story is about writer, actor, filmmaker, studio head, and media titan, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is America's consummate multi hyphenic and no conversation about black creatives today will be complete without him. But underneath this entertainment giant is a man working humbly to heal his childhood trauma by transforming his pain into promise. From being raised in the third ward of New Orleans to owning his own film studio on 350 acres of land in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, Tyler Perry has blazed his own path to fame and has found liberation from his childhood. This documentary is a tender and intimate portrait of Tyler's vision and success and his harrowing but faithful road to the top of an industry that didn't always include him. This is also a love letter to his mother, Maxine, where the title of this movie comes from. Tyler Perry went from being homeless to owning his own film studio in Atlanta, Georgia. His story is not only emotional, but it is inspiring in so many ways. Maxine's Baby opens up with the groundbreaking opening ceremony of Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. I have to try not to float above it. See, that's, that's my thing, though. My problem with a lot of things in life is I can float above it. And um, that's just from childhood. That's from abuse, where it's pain. You just try to get through it. But I found out that I have that with everything. When it's even joy and happiness, I just, I, if it gets my senses get too heightened, I just want to be above it. So tonight, and every day, and every moment, it's like, calm down, calm down, calm down. You're okay, calm down, you're safe. It's just emotion, it's just feeling, it's just, it's good, you're all right. It's love, it's joy. So. We get moments of his family members talking about the abuse he endured as a child at the hands of his father, and how he would find places in his mind to escape it. One thing I found really interesting is that when he was younger, he would watch and admire Oprah Winfrey on TV and say that one day he would meet her. He became really inspired by an Oprah Winfrey show episode where she talked about having a journal, and that is when he started writing down his first plays. Tyler Perry also recounts the times he would join his mom on Friday nights and listen to stories by black women that later became inspiration for the stories in his plays. Tyler Perry built his dream from the ground and is a pioneer in his craft and lane. It is said that when you become a pioneer in anything, it is not going to be easy. I know you will get inspired and enjoy streaming Maxine's Baby, The Tyler Perry Story, now available on Prime Video as you prime and unwind. My final pick that showcases black creatives is a sequel to a classic that we all love and adore. Available to stream now on Prime Video, here's Coming to America. Akeem and Simi are back in Coming to America. Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall star in this hilarious comedy set in the lush and royal country of Zamunda. On the 30th anniversary of his wedding with Lisa McDowell, Prince Akeem is summoned before his dying father, King Jaffe Jofer. His father tells him of a bastard son he left behind in New York from his first trip to the States. Being forced by tradition to find a male heir to the throne, the newly crowned King Akeem and his trusted confidant Semi embark on a new adventure back to Queens, New York. Now, when we talk about black excellence and black creatives in movies, this is a prime example of that. You see what I did there? The original Coming to America has been a staple in black entertainment for decades, and this sequel falls right in line. So many of our original cast favorites from Coming to America return for this new comedy, including King Jaffe Jofer, played by James Earl Jones, Queen Lisa, played by Sherry Headley, Cleo McDowell, played by John Amos, Maurice, played by Louis Anderson, and the Motley Barbershop crew. 
Joining this star-studded ensemble is Wesley Snipes, Leslie Jones, Tracy Morgan, and many more. Coming to America showcases Black excellence not only through the story, but by those we witness on screen. Eddie Murphy is a king of Zamunda, and he's also been a king in the world of cinema for decades. We celebrate the many faces that make up the DNA of this movie. I know you will have a great time going back to visit this royal family. Be sure to stream Coming to America, now available on Prime Video. There you have it. My top three picks of movies and series that feature black creatives. And the great thing is, all of them are available to stream now for free. What did you guys think of the titles on this month's list? Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below to let me know if you enjoy my picks or not. And what kind of series or movies do you want me to recommend in my next video? Now you don't have to spend any time trying to find your next movie or binge. You can just sit back, prime, and unwind. Thank mm -hmm. you.